Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at an old messed up iPod classic that I have. Um, long story short, I've had this since about 2006, around the same time the Zoom Zune came out. I got a Zune and an iPod. So this is your standard 30 gig model. And as you guys can see here, it's kind of busted, won't power on. Had it charging, so usually the symptoms I have are when I plug it into a charger, It'll power on, it'll work, and when I unplug it, it'll die. Um, headphone jack doesn't work, so I gotta mess around with that. And overall, it's just kind of like in a not desirable condition. So what I'm gonna do today is we got a new battery. So we're gonna upgrade the batteries. So this is a replacement battery for the... It says replacement for video battery, and it's for a 60 or 80 gig, but I did search up using the model number of the 30 gig, and this will work. I got a replacement back cover for it, so you know I'm gonna put this bad boy, put everything in there. I got a replacement front cover. Um, I didn't realize that it didn't come with a uh, spin wheel, but I guess that's fine. And we got a replacement uh, headphone slash hold jack. That's the way they come in two pieces. I mean, one piece for both. So I'm gonna swap that out. I think. Back in the old days, I did do that replacement with the battery, um, not the battery, the um, hold jack. So I'm gonna do that again. And of course, I think all we're gonna need are these two tools that came with one of these guys. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna take it apart and swap those parts out and hopefully this is gonna go better than the rest so yeah let's just get started so I think the first thing we got to do when you open it up is you want it you want the hold switch to be on hold so when you switch it it's gonna be orange once again this isn't a tutorial so don't really you know depend on what I say um, there are many guides yours probably isn't gonna be separated here like mine is but you kind of gonna have to you're gonna want to go around and with one of these tools and open up the clips so that's exactly what I'm gonna do All right, so we got this guy open up. Um, so a lot of my stuff is already loose, which is kind of unfortunate. So usually you wanna unhook your battery connector. Mine is already <laughs> unhooked for me. Um, I do also notice that uh, I'm missing two screws for my uh, my faceplate so missing one there and one up top here um, not sure where those are to be honest with you never really did anything with that so I think my next step is gonna be taking this cable off but we need to find out where that goes. So this is our hard drive. At some point in the future, I'm going to work on that and probably replace it. I'm just gonna unhook our back case because to be honest, we don't really need this. And all of this can stay, you know, in the position it's in just because, like, you're not going to really take any of this apart. If you were to change this, so there are tools to, um, tools, there's a replacement that you can get that will essentially put an SD card uh, reader in replacement of this hard drive and that'll do its thing. But 
I'm going to do that in another video, maybe, because it is quite a bit of money. Um, it's about 60 bucks for that, and then you can just use any SD card, but depending on the size, you know, that might cost you a pretty penny. So I'm just going to unscrew the screws that I have left. Um, so I can take the uh, screen off. screen comes off like so. So this is our replacement. I'm just going to put it on and Alright, so the next step would be, I guess, fitting parts in here. So I took out the bottom of the old iPod from the old case, so this guy, and it's held in by two silver screws, so Okay, <laughs> so as you can see, this is kind of screwed up down there, but you know, it's the best I can do for now. Um, I'll look into getting a replacement for that. So the next part is putting in this headphone and hold switch. So I did get a black version. Originally, the iPod had a white one, but I think the black one would look a little bit nicer. Once again, I don't know what's going on here, but the trend of the day seems to be that I'm short on screws. So, once again, I got not a lot of screws. Alrighty guys, and there we have it, a um, replaced, replaced, yeah, <laughs> a refurbished, restored iPhone 30 gig. Um, it's kind of weird to see that the new faceplate is almost so it's just scratched. I don't, I'm not a fan of this glossy. Same with the back, so the back says 256 gig, I'll leave a link to everything down below. It's kind of also messed up already. It does power on. I don't know where this spot came from on the screen because it wasn't there. Um, but everything works fine. 
as we see. These are my remaining music. If I go into uh, settings about, we have our everything fully working. So yeah, that's it. Um, if you guys like this type of content, please give it a thumbs up, uh, like, comment, subscribe. That's always helpful. Um, any questions about an iPod or doing any of this, please leave it down below. As always, um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you.